Hey everybody, welcome to Cooking with James. I am your host James. Today, another simple and delicious cook. I am going to be showing you how to cook any kind of frozen meat um, from completely frozen to um, completely cooked perfect in the Ninja Speedy. For example, you go to work, you forget to take the chicken out or the steak or the pork or whatever it may be. So when you get home, it's defrosted and ready to go. Or if you're just home and you look in the freezer and you're like, oh, you know, I don't want to go to the process of soaking it in water, you know, put it in the microwave on defrost for several minutes and then flipping and, you know, going through all that. This is going to be a one time shot. We're going to put the meat in, it'll defrost and cook one step that's it so let's go ahead and get into it all right so here is what we're going to be doing today now I'm not sure if you could tell because they are frozen solid and frozen together um, but they're chicken wings or chicken wing ets now um, <clears throat> they're all frozen together rock solid Okay. Now, if they happen to be, you know, frozen, you know, individually in the package and take them out, don't worry about it. It's the same thing. I also want to say, on any of the other meats, steak, uh, beef, or, you know, beef, pork, fish, any of that stuff, you can use this same method that I'm about to show you to cook any of that stuff. And I will have some words to say about um, different things, bigger things, like maybe like a whole chicken that's completely frozen or something like that. But all you're gonna need is whatever meat that you want to use, one cup of water, and then whatever seasoning that you like to use. Here's, um, what's well, a garlic powder container, but I just put salt, uh, pepper, garlic in there. Something real simple, just to season. Um, so that's it, let's go ahead and get this cooking in the Ninja. All right, so here we are at the Ninja Speedy. The unit is not on, so open it up and just show you what we're using. Obviously the drip pan always, and then we've got the little roaster rack in there as well. So the first thing that you wanna do is grab your cup of water, just dump it in there, and it gets on the bottom. And then we're going to take our rock solid chicken here, and we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. Uh, let's see if it's like this way. Get in there, chicken. So just like that, so the, the chicken is in there. And next, very simple, close the top. Now down here, we are going to turn the unit on. I wanna switch this thing over here to the rapid cook side. We're going to go down to the steam and crisp function. Our temperature, oops, not 400 is what our temperature is going to be. We're gonna set it for 30 minutes. Hit start. This will take a few minutes to preheat, which is good, because it's gonna start steaming, and then we'll take it to the next step. Okay, so after about six minutes, there'll be 24 minutes left. We'll open this up, and these things should be pretty defrosted, or enough. Now, if your let's say chicken legs or whatever are not, are not clumped together you can miss this step but this just makes it easy to pull the chicken apart perfect and get you in here real quick everything is i mean they're not defrosted completely but it's enough to break the chicken up versus what they were before all right so we got that and now what we're going to do is close the lid let it resume, we'll take it to the next step. All right, so we are approaching the eight minute mark. From here, we're gonna open this up. And take a quick look. Things are looking a lot better than they were when they were frozen, for sure. But here, just wanna go in with some seasoning. Just go ahead and get some seasoning all over the top of all this stuff. And this is a perfect time to do it because it's still got some moisture on top, so the seasoning is going to stick. So get that seasoning. If you want to season both sides, go ahead. But I'm going to throw some additional seasoning after I get them out. So that is good. Let's close the top and resume. All right, as you can see, we are counting down. Four, three, two, one. And beep, beep. And we'll open this up. Take a quick look. Tell me what you guys think. Um, I'm going to say, heck yeah. Get out of here, steam. And so the next thing is the actual true test. But don't go anywhere because I got some um, 
other ways to do like bigger pieces of meat. And so you want to stick around for that because this is a great way to do just right out of the freezer, pop it in and get it done. See you in a minute. All right, so here is what we ended up with. And crispy and perfect. And the only thing left to do is actually get one and take a bite. Mmm, yep, perfect. Rip it open for you. I'm to show you. Cooked perfectly, awesome. Oh, that is so good. All right, so we got these done perfectly. This went from a brick of ice, pretty much, to crispy, crispy, you hear that? Chicken wings in 30 minutes. That's awesome, but stick around. I'll meet you up top because I'm going to give you some advice on other types of meats also that you can do in the functions, the steam and crisp versus the steam and bake and what you should do. See you in a minute. All right, so we are finished with the cook. Now what I really want to say um, about this, because the title is, you know, you can cook any piece of meat with this method. And I want to get into the difference between steam and crisp and steam and bake. <clears throat> so you're going to use your steam and bake function for any larger pieces of meat because it takes about 15 to 20 minutes for it to heat up but that whole time it's steaming the meat let's say a ham or a roast or you know something like that that's completely frozen you would use the steam and bake function and then cook it on the temperature that you'd normally do you know like a roast maybe like 350 or whatever but with the chicken wings like you know i always cook chicken wings on 400 degrees so the difference is the steam and crisp, it only takes about four, maybe five minutes. So it's steaming, you know, heating up for about four or five minutes. It's still steaming through the process, but that element, top element is kicking on after about four or five minutes and crisping everything up, okay? The other thing I wanna say is that just know on either one of these functions, whether it's steam and crisp or steam and bake, when you're using those functions, the water, one cup of water will completely evaporate in about 20 minutes. So keep that in mind. If you want to steam for longer, you know, obviously two cups would last for about 40 minutes and so forth. So that's just something to keep in mind as well. But anyway, that's uh, some tips on how you can take something right out of the freezer, boom, put it right in the Ninja Speedy and get to cooking. No messing with the, you know, defrosting and all that other stuff. So that's how you do it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If you like the to uh, content, make sure to hit that bell for notifications so you can get my future videos when they come out. Make sure to give a thumbs up. Please drop it off some comment. With that being said, we'll catch you in the next cook. Thanks for watching.